2nd of December, 4.14pm. This should be opening night, but tier three has blown this house down. It's just really sad because obviously it's our careers, it's our lives. Who doesn't love pink and brown? Well, somebody shows have just got back up yeah. and then they have to close again, which is, you know, heartbreaking for the industry. But it's really opened us up to new ways of creating theatre. This show is still going on in an empty theatre, but playing to an online stream. It it has been a strange experience doing a panto in front of nobody because <laughs> um, you're used to, you know, trying to play for those laughs and that feels a bit strange. We're playing for those laughs uh, and at the end of the songs you stop and there's just like a moment of silence. Uh, hopefully in the living rooms people are cheering, but <laughs> perhaps they're not. Slain by the wolf! Online spectators are asked to pay for what they can to watch, but any income is vital for the art centre Hounslow to survive the lockdowns. It's scary because you don't know how many lovely regional theatres or ones like this can survive it. So we're so grateful. It's been a lovely surprise at the end of this year to, to do some acting at all um, and hopefully just keep it revived, keep everyone remembering why we're so passionate about it and why it's so important. Many argue this is the greatest pantomime. In the West End, shows are once again on their final night, just two weeks after reopening. A Christmas carol! It's very serious, the theatre's having to close again. It's, it's serious in London, it's even more serious in the regions where the Christmas shows add a lot of money into their income for the year. And also it's a symbol, isn't it, that for Christmas you have a family time and the family together goes to the local panto. And here we are, we've had the London Palladium, the brilliant panto is just totally sold out, just had to close, close it tonight. And the panto super fans are also feeling the loss. Jamila Hassan Ali normally goes with 42 members of her family. I don't even want to think about it. It makes me sad. It's, it's one of those things you don't know what you had until it's gone. And this is going to be one of those things that if it disappears, it's, it's going to be really, really sad. As London's theatres once again fall into darkness, no one knows when the lights will come back on. Rags Martel, ITV News.